Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is the Big Cake Cop 360 here, yeah, man. Guys, this is this is some great stuff. This is some great stuff. Now, the creator of World of Warcraft, which is a very popular PC game, a uh, game I don't, I personally don't play. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, the creator of World of Warcraft pretty much went out and said esports should be in the Olympics. Now, firstly, before I you know I get disliked on this, um, I don't agree with this guy. So I'm just gonna. I'm just going to put that out straight away so people don't go hitting that dislike button. I don't agree with him. I just, I've talked about the whole esports thing before and I'll get into that right now. So firstly, let's get into his points. You know, let's just see where he's coming from. So pretty much, he goes on and says, he tells BBC Live for uh, the 5, he tells them, you know, look, uh, esports attracts like 40,000 people at stadiums with, you know, millions watching worldwide, which is true. Let's not forget that esports stadiums, you know, the LoL tournaments, the World of War, uh, not World of Warcraft tournaments, the Dota tournaments, especially them, them free to play games, they attract massive people to literal physical stadiums and people watching worldwide, a lot of people on Twitch, millions. The event makes millions of dollars for them and we can't, we can't dispute that, that's true. And that is a pretty decent point. He also goes on to say, you know, look, um, video games are becoming a very big spectator sport, which is true, you know, the whole development of esports and whatnot. But at the same time, when people talk about esports, uh, I don't think people should say esports is a sport or esports is a division of sporting. Esports is esports. Esports is it's its own thing, okay? Sport is its own thing right here, and esports is over here. They're not the same. They're not under the same umbrella. They should be recognized as their own separate thing. I don't want people to say esports is a sport because, honestly, just no one will ever be comfortable with saying that esports is a sport. We need to separate them. We need to segregate them. So, uh, you know, I was on Linus Tech Tips. Everyone, or not everyone, but a lot of people know Linus Tech Tips, LTT. I was on the forums, and this guy, this guy said, one of the guys said, look, they should be in E Olympics. Now I'm not sure if he's being sarcastic or not, but I get where he's coming from. Uh, if you want to implement something like esports into a major sporting event like the Olympics or something, then there should be an E Olympics. Esports should have different sports, and those sports should be games, and that should be under esports. And that's pretty much what esports is at the moment. COD can be an esport, Dota, CS, LOL. I'm sure it's World of Warcraft esports, and there's a whole bunch of other esport games. Like, those games are the sports in the eSport. That is how it should be seen as. It shouldn't be seen as all of them are like eSports is one and eSports in itself is a division of sport. No, 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 no. It should be seen as, uh, you know, uh, CS is the eSports as cricket is the sport, okay? It's like that. It's sports and eSports. They should be separated. I'm not going to say that again. Or I probably will, but... You guys need to understand that. That is how people should look at this, okay? Don't say esports is a sport because they're not. You know, you can't really call the people that compete in esports athletes. You could call them e-athletes. Because, you know, it's this separation that you can't deny that. Now, of course, people will also bring up the point, And I'm not going to... I'm going to be fair-sided here. I'm going to be uh, objective. Well, you can never be objective in a video like this. So it's going to be subjective. But people can still bring up the point, you know, look... What about some of the previous sports in um in the Olympics, such as curling? People say like swift. I don't think it's called swifting, but curling or whatever it is. Those sports where you know it's not very competitive. It's not really something you'd associate with the sport. People ask, you know, that gets to be in the Olympics. Why can't esports be in the Olympics? You know, it it just doesn't work like that, guys. It's just not going to happen. And look, let's be honest. Even though you might support what this Rao creator is saying, you guys have to admit that the mainstream media, mainstream community, the, the people in general will never expect or accept esports as a sport. It's never going to happen. And that will definitely, it will never end up in the Olympics. You guys need to understand that. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't matter how big esports becomes, you know, Southeast Asia, around the world, United States, whatever, Australia. It's just, it's not going to happen, or at least it won't happen in our lifetime, or it's not going to happen very, very long time. I honestly don't think it will ever happen, to be honest. I just can't see esports in the Olympics. It's just, it's not going to happen. There might be an e-Olympics. That would be a good idea, a legit good idea, an e-Olympics. So you have one major sporting event, and, you know, every four years or whatever, and you get, you know, the best CS players, COD players, uh, Dota players, LOL players, you know, whatever, whatever the esports there are. And they come together at this massive tournament. 
No, they it wouldn't obviously be a carbon copy of the Olympics. You'd have to uh, replicate it or make it have an E feel, like the electronic feel. So yeah, it's not going to happen in the Olympics. It honestly, in my opinion, shouldn't be in the Olympics. But that's just my opinion. It's subjective. It's a subjective video. So guys, tell me down below what you think, and I'll see you guys later.